Hi, this is Mese. This is Jeff. From London Blusion. Uh, we are here today in Wardour Street, London, uh, at the Yamaha Music London store. Um, we're going to try some instruments for our new recording, our fourth London Blusion album. We're aiming to only use Yamaha equipment and gear for the whole album. Let's see how it's gonna go. Hi again, uh, we are here at the flagship store of Yamaha in London, Yamaha Music London. So, uh, we're really happy to be here because, as you can see, it's like the Aladdin's cave. You know, anything and everything that you need is right here, available to you. Uh, we're going to try some uh, guitars and bass guitars and some of the effects units. Um, and let's see how we're going to get on with it, all right? This one features a nice mahogany body, not all the uh, maple neck, mahogany rear board, so it's a five piece neck. Uh, it's comfortable, it's a nice shape, it's not too thin, it has a, enough mass to really sort of add a bit of sort of meat to the bones as it were. Obviously these Yamaha YGD design pickups, almost like humbucking style, it's, it's, it's quite popular now with a lot of manufacturers to kind of do this dual 
magnets uh, per string and you can see it's obviously reinforced itself. Um, a clever concept, obviously the traditional sort of volume pickup balancer, so you, you know, you're merging between neck and bridge pickup, although for some reason I'll point this out to Yamaha and obviously I've said this before, this is not the bridge, uh, unless the bridge is going that way. Obviously you know, bridge is here, neck is this way, so it's got that around but for some reason, I don't know why that is. Um, base mid treble, uh, but this is the interesting thing, the active and passive switch. The idea is that if, of course, you know, most styles, obviously, where you need a bit more punch, the three-band active circuit is, you know, a given. Um, this switches it into passive mode, which just means, basically, you've got the main master volume, and then just the treble tone becomes the master tone for everything. These two become redundant. Um, the idea is if you want to get more of an old-school feel. So for a working bass or recording bass, it's lots of sort of tone palettes you can get just from switching from here to here, and uh, it's quite nice. The other great thing is that... Uh, <coughs> but not more volume so it's kind of fairly evenly matched so even if the battery um, obviously you've left the lead in and obviously your battery runs down on the active PR amp uh, you can switch on to passive mode and the bass will still work so you're not without a bass at a gig because for the sake of taking the battery condition of the fingerboard frets anything that just makes it a much more enjoyable but I say a lot of fun playing as much you get them uh, it's very hard not to uh, stop, stop playing